Dothraki are a bit of a cross between the Mongols and some of the Native American tribes. There are horse people. They live in these great, vast grass plains, and they make a living by conquering other people. For them, warfare is everything. In the book, George had created a few words for them, but it wasn't fully fleshed out. And for the series, we actually thought it would be much more believable if we heard them speaking their own language rather than have them speak in heavily accented English. We really felt the only way it would work is if there was a real language. We went to the Language Creation Society, who turned us on to David Peterson, and he created a language, taking into account what we told him and what was in the books. As a language creator, you must start with the culture. You have to start with the people. You piece together what their life is, and little by little, you build up vocabulary that kind of reflects their worldview and their world. What might their values be like? What do they see the world as? What's important? What's not important? Sir Jura, I, I don't know how to say thank you in Dothraki. There is no word for thank you in Dothraki. From there, it was fleshing out the rest of the grammar bit by bit, adding more words. I created a lot of vocabulary well before uh, I translated any of the scripts for the first season. This is where I have my word count here. I was near 2,000 words at that time. We would write the scripts and we would send the scenes to David and say these lines will be in Dothraki. David would send us back translations. I would give the writing team this translation that had the Dothraki line, the English line, then I had a phonetic transcription. And then, of course, I recorded everything on MP3, every single line, there must have been hundreds, so that they could get the intonation right, the phrasing. I think I say like two lines in, in English, but yeah, everything else is with Rocky. Drogo came by Paul Drogo in the book delivers a long monologue in the common tongue, which is essentially English. In the series, Khal Drogo, as played by Jason Momoa, delivers this monologue in Dothraki, and it's this great, powerful speech that sounds fantastic. Dothraki changed the sound of the show. It's a very guttural kind of language. It's, it's not an easy one to pronounce. It's an incredible language, getting your mouth around the word. Like, they're so expressive. at jaka at jahakar at jahaka Just like the sounds of it. There's like really good rhythms to it. It's basically like Arabic and German. You want to make it sound as natural as you can, so you have to be very careful with these strong characters not to speak strongly as well all the time. When it goes into the actor's mouths, we've talked about little compromises that make it easier to flow in the scenes. Mama, where are you from? What's he saying? He says yes. Brendan Gunn, the on-set dialect coach, was kind of my ears and eyes on the set. He would let me know what the actors were having trouble with, what things were working, how things were going. There were a lot of forgetting bits. <laughs> there were a lot of bits that kind of just, they float out your head. The actors are learning phonetically by listening to CDs and MP3s. Just try to memorize it and try to memorize it. And once you recite it all the time, then you gotta figure out what you're saying in English. And they are reading the English and trying to map the emotion of the English onto the Dothraki. You learn the lines in English. You, you know, you want to know how you want to play the scene. Once you know that, then you learn the lines phonetically, and then you translate them into the moods and sounds and the intentions that you've made on the English. As a maigi, easy chara. Put the subtext underneath. So really, your lines, your English lines, are underneath as well. So then you manage to sort of put that over the top. It's, it's kind of an interesting process to learn something that's not necessarily what you're saying. Drogo asks if you want him dead, Khaleesi. No! Comes from a real place, real rather than some speaking gobbledygook, and expecting you to learn. Drogo asks if you want him dead, Khaleesi. No! Comes from a real somebody speaking gobbledygook, and expecting you to learn it. Sounds right, you know, and if you do gaba hujo daba gaba, it always sounds really crap. So it's it is worth trying to master it. it. Had to be real, I think, for a show that has the demands for authenticity that this one does. I really had free reign to just uh, expand the language, explore the culture, and to fill in the blanks as I saw fit based on both my understanding of what was going on in the series and everything I'd read from the books. Me was adore me. Me. Throne. There is no word for throne in Dothraki. Throne. 
Adolfinan Kahl. Just by watching the show, people are going to be able to take and use the language. It's going to be right there. Someone will translate Hamlet into Dothraki. It's just a lovely other way of kind of expressing yourself, really. Villageros, eboy.